Hello fellow sim players. Today I'm gonna do a small tutorial on how to do your custom shirts on Sims 4. Um, what you need for doing this is the Sims 4 Studio and I'm using Photoshop but you can also use Skimp. I think it's um, pretty much the same. I It's been ages since I've used Skimp so um, I don't really recall, but I think you can do layers on GIMP, so that's what you're gonna need, and yeah, that's pretty much all you need. So, what you wanna do first is you open Sims 4 Studio, which I already did. Um, since you're making a shirt, it's in the Create a Sim section, and you're creating a 3D mesh. So, you click here, and then you click here. Well, then it gives you all the objects. Um, my um, my Sims 4 Studio is partly in German, um, so I'm gonna tell you what to do. Um, well, this one says it's for humans, so basically it's for Sims. Um, you can choose pick the gender. I'm doing it for female. Um, age, I don't care about the age. Type, um, I'm going for t-shirts. Game pack, um, as far as I know, you need to select base game so that it works for everyone who downloads it. Um, and I don't know what content will. You don't need to um, click anything here. So, you go and look for the shirt you want to recreate or you want to put something on. Um, I don't know, I'm just going to go with this one. Then you click, you select it, you click next, and then um, you have to name your creation. I already made a folder which says self made CC. Um, I'm gonna name it just test because I'm not gonna save these ones. So you save this, and it's loading, and here we are. This is the test sim you see your creation on. And here, around here, you have the shirt that you're recreating. So, um, to recreate the shirt, you need to export it. Um, I always export it to my desktop because that's where I can immediately find it. So, I'm going to call this test as well. Yeah, it's here. Okay, so, minimize this and you can see... Here is the test thing. It's a PNG um, file. Here, this is what we need. Okay, so next on you go to Photoshop or GIMP, whatever you use. Um, you open the test. And there we go. Here we have the test shirt. I always make it a little bigger so I can see what I'm working with. Um, and now... You can. I'm gonna. I'm gonna show you a few um, things you can do. Um, I'm gonna make swatches so you can also see how you add swatches. Um, I'm on Google and um, you can like, I don't know, search for whatever you want. Um, I'm gonna search for a heart. I wanna make a heart. Oh my god, no, that's not what I was looking for. Oh yeah, that's more what I was looking for. Um, I'm not going to use this in-game, so it doesn't really matter, but this looks very much Sims, so I'm going to use this. I just right-click, copy the picture, sorry, my cat, um, shh, I copy the picture, I just did, but again, then I go into Photoshop and I just insert it, and there it is, It you can see it made a second layer, which I can click away, or you know, see. Um, then I zoom in a little more. And I do this lasso thing, you know. Shh. Would you be quiet, please? I'm doing some, something here. It's, he's so annoying. Shh. Um, I'm going to go with this one. It's the one that just, you know, realizes which color you want to select and just does that. Um, yeah. It's always easier with this one, so, oh, or maybe not. Um, so make sure that you, if you do this, you have pictures that are easy to select from. 
so um I don't really well you you just get rid of the background and go back here whoopsie daisy nope that's not what you do that's not what you do okay then um as you can see here this is the front wait this is the front of the shirt and this is the back I haven't really figured out what this is uh, but it's not or this for that matter but it's it's not what you need it doesn't matter so you just want to place the heart I even it, I mean it depends if you want it on the back or the front but I'm gonna put it on the front and you just put it somewhere here um, and then you save it and make sure that it's a PNG file otherwise you cannot put it in okay I'm gonna name this test one oopsie yeah okay so we're going back to the sims 4 studio we're going back to import and we use our test one. Oh, why that's way off as you can see it's way off it does not look good so if that kind of happens um, just go back and resize the whole thing uh, so it looks like a decent heart um, and try again I'm gonna save again I'm gonna go PNG this is very important otherwise it won't work I'm gonna name it test one again and whoops no <laughs> I'm sorry it's the first time I'm doing something like this import test one and now it looks better it's still not perfect but it, it's better so yeah this is how you do a shirt basically with um, cutting something out so if you want to do another shirt if you want to add a swatch to this creation you click you simply click here add swatch what you can do which is pretty nice um, as a thumbnail you can um, you can either import the picture which I never do or you can choose basically the main colors that are included in this so this is pink so I'm gonna use pink um okay second swatch um, I'm just you know I'm getting rid of the heart and I don't know what do I want to do um I'm just gonna use some some funny pencil here like like this maybe yeah let's try it for this one. Oh, or maybe not where, where is it whoopsie daisy yeah here it is oh that's pretty um um so then you pick a color um I don't know let's go with blue and I pick a second one I don't know if that works right now but yeah let's go with green oh my cat is so annoying I'm so sorry then you just randomly paint just make sure that it stays uh, no not like that um, make sure that it stays inside the shirt section so, well, I'm not going to make this pretty because, you know, I'm not going to use it anyway. On the back, some on the back. Um, but that's kind of the thing you do when you recolor a shirt or make patterns on it or something. Um, you can also, like, paint it with a normal brush and give it a whole different color. But that's a lot of work because you cannot draw out because it's going to be visible on their necks or their arms or their... Uh, bellies or you know wherever you draw out so um, I tried this but it's a lot of work and I haven't had the uh, patience to do that yet so what I did is just making a pattern here and I'm saving this as oh PNG why does why can't you remember Photoshop you've been so expensive and you can't even remember test two so we oh come on why do, why do you keep opening this Okay, so we this is our second swatch. Like this is the first, the heart is here. This is the second. We go on import, we click test two, and here we are. Test two shirt. And you can see now it's on the back too. So first swatch is still here with the heart, and second one is here with the um pattern I just did. And I'm gonna add another one. I'm doing something that I haven't tried either, but I think that 
if I think logically, it should work. Um, I'm going to reopen this because I made a mess. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is get some text on this shirt. And I haven't tried this myself yet, so you're going to be... Um, you're gonna be my first, my first watchers, viewers, whatever, to see if this works. Um, what do I write? Um, I write so so. Oh come on, this looks so ugly. Good, good God, good God, good God. No, come on. Oh, what? My God, yeah. See, that's why I haven't tried it. For health's sake, why is this so? <sighs> you know, you 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 can do it with um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just for trying, you know. It's not pretty and whatever. Um, you can do this with more, with prettier font and um, but you know, you know how to add text, so I don't have to tell you that. But I'm just trying if it works, and as far as I see that, it should. So, we're saving this as PNG test 3. And no! God damn it! This is so. Why? I should redo this whole video, but I'm too lazy, to be honest. We're adding a swatch. We're importing test 3. Whee! It says so so. That's really cute. I, I think you can do really cute shirts um, with text if you make it, you know, if you change the font and make it look all nice. So yeah, if all of this is done, you can um, select a thumbnail for the catalog, um, which will show up in Create a Sim. Um, I usually just make a screenshot, which I do by, you know, pressing print. Um, then use this program, open, select, like cut it out. Uh, save it as, I don't know, test, well, just test, PNG. Make sure it's PNG. It was set to PNG here, but make sure it's always PNG. Whatever you do in Sims 4 Studio, make sure it's PNG file. Then you go here, you get on import, you uh, need to find what we know. Test. And there it goes. It's not perfect. Um, you, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I don't really care about the thumbnail in the creative sim as long as I realize what it is. Um, you can do that for each shirt, but, um, yeah, um, whatever. Um, this is what's going to show up. So, yeah. And then all you got to do is save. And then it says your package has been saved. You can close Sims 4 Studio. And you can go to the folder which you create. No, not the folder. Well, the folder I made. But wherever you saved it, and there it is. Test dot package and you just pack it in your mods folder and there you go it's in your game and it's working so um i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i hope my cat didn't annoy you too much i hope my accent didn't annoy you too much i hope i could make it clear i hope that you understand and if you don't please feel free to message me i'm trying to help so yeah um i'm gonna get rid of these and uh, yeah, I hope that I could help you. So keep on simming, have fun with your sims, and have a lot of fun creating custom shirts. I will continue to do so. Um, yeah, and I hope you have a nice day. Bye-bye.